That's interesting. Uh, is that a good thing? My car has never been fed super clean fuel, ever. That I'm aware, maybe before me, but that was four plus years ago. Well, before I forget to do this, I'll do it now. Um, because I, I like showing pieces when they sell. Um, one, because I just, yeah, haven't really shown them in creation sometimes. And they don't sell very often, so I'm just like, it's kind of like a goodbye to this piece. I love this piece as well. So it's nice to see, I mean, it's nice when any piece sells, which I've said before, but like, I don't know. It's just a different kind of nice when something I really, really love sells versus like something I'm, I was kind of iffy about, maybe, or whatever, but... I think it's okay to have favorites. I don't think every single piece needs to be my favorite piece, but it's it's kind of nice when that does happen a couple times in a row. Like, man, I love this one so much. Um, yeah, this is going to Calgary, so not very far, but uh, yeah, this is shipping out today, and I love it. It's it's good. I always feel weird about going to little libraries in front of people's houses, but I saw that this little library has been vandalized and got like cleared out. So uh, I'm going to restock it. I guess the only danger in refilling that is that <clears throat> They all just might get taken again, and like, who knows what. Uh, yeah. I guess it's not a danger, just be a waste, because I don't know why they got taken in the first place. So, maybe they were just like, thrown around, or burned, or stolen and never read I don't know I don't know but hopefully they stay for a bit
I tried to ride Abracadabra. Never ridden it before, there's no videos of it, no pictures. So, I hate when riding a new trail uh, when it's not obvious and there's a lot of forks in the road and you gotta stop and start and stop and start. I mean, that's the great thing about trail forks is you can do that and you can look at trail forks, but I hate doing it. Uh, one reason is because I don't have a reliable, like, thing for my phone, for my handlebars. Um, and I'm always afraid of it falling off, and then that's a massive expense if it smashes. So I keep my my um, phone in my bike bag, like my, my saddle bag. And I don't want to stop and get it out and stop and get it out. And there were a lot, there was a lot of that. So what I, there, there were two times early on where I had to stop, get off my bike, look at trail forks, make sure I was going the right way. After the second time, I was like, I don't want to do this anymore. Because I rode back to the very start and refilmed it twice. And, um... Then I, I thought I was on the right track. I took a right turn. Then I got to another huge fork in the road where I was like, this is gonna be massive, I need to look. So I looked and I was already way off track. I was like, well, I don't even know how I got over here from Abracadabra, I don't know what's going on. So I was like, hey, I'm obviously not riding it today, it's just not gonna work out. So then I just like picked a path and followed it and I don't think that trail is listed on Trail Forks anywhere, so I'm gonna list it as Magic Touch. Um, I mean, if it gets approved, but I'm going to, I'm going to initiate that, that today. So, we've got three pieces here that are done. I started them all at the same time, and finish them all at the same time. Uh, I'm pretty happy with them and they're all very um, relevant to each other <laughs> in theme. Uh, but yeah, those pieces are done, so I'm gonna post those soon. And uh, yeah, 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 yeah. It, it's a weird thing, when there tends to be, I'm sure I've brought this up before, um, when there tends to be a lot going on, like emotionally, I pretty much vlog a lot less because usually I'm not doing a lot of other stuff. Like, I don't know how to explain that. Like, um, and it doesn't have to mean that things emotionally are bad. It just means like when there's like highs and things are really low or really good or really new, like... Being emotional is, I don't know, it, it, I guess in some ways it's tied to a newness, but not really, like new feelings or new experiences. Um, I don't really know how to unpack that, but uh, yeah, so then a lot of stuff just doesn't get shown or I don't talk about it a lot, unless it's in like a conversation or it's like within my writing, but as for vlogging, I don't really know how to, well, I know how to do it, I could just talk about it, but I just don't. Uh, I'd rather show more things in the vlog, and there's just sometimes, it just depends. It's like when things get really busy. It's like when things get really busy, um, I don't really have a lot I can show you because I'm like busy working or busy doing this or that or the other thing. And yeah, I don't know. Traveling, there's always, you <laughs> always, there's usually more stuff in a vlog when I'm traveling. Um, or doing cool stuff like that. I don't know. I'm just wasting time. That's all I'm doing. Not on purpose. I'm just like going in circles. This is dumb. Um, school's about to start. So that's an uh, anxiety thing. <laughs> that's a little bit of a stressor. Um, it'll be good, I hope. But it's also just annoying that here I am, once again, back on the sub list. Not feeling good about that. Um, feeling good about some other things, though. So that's good feel like I am still in a state of repair and still feeling like I'm looking over my shoulder, which is shitty and I don't like that, uh, but that's where I'm at. So hoping to get some more good riding in before the season kind of ends. I did not do as much riding as I wanted to, did not hit up as many new trails as I wanted to, but then again, this season I feel like way more trails got like put on trail forks than ever. So yeah. Um, I'm not going to explore all of them. Some of them are just like really short downhills to get to a, um, a place. I mean, I've added trails too. Uh, but yeah, I wanted to go camping a second time. That didn't happen. I doubt it will happen. That became a financial thing. 
And things got pretty tight after Edmonton. Edmonton trip kind of like really wiped me for money. Um, I wish I made some different choices when I was there. Um, and it sucks because, yeah, I, I went there and I didn't get that job. So, anyway. Outro to the freaking vlog. Um, got a couple of other videos this week. One was a review on Donnie Darko, which is a really crappy review of one of my favorite movies. I just couldn't get it together, man. Uh, I didn't, like, spend time taking notes. I was just like, man, I've seen this movie a lot, so I'll just wing it. And, uh, that didn't really work because I found it really hard to describe the tone of the movie and, like, why I love it so much, which was the whole point of the review. Uh, I still think that if you, I don't know, if you've seen it and you've been confused about it, I have some thoughts on, on that because there's some questionable stuff in there. It's not, like, super obvious as to, like, what happens. Uh, if you haven't seen it, I mean, you can still give it a watch. Um, it's not super long. But, uh, yeah, I just was, <laughs> I realized really quickly, I was like, how do I describe this movie and what makes it so great? It's really difficult. Um, there's a raw ride in there as well. I tried to, like, go on a new trail called Abracadabra. Not a new trail, just new to me. And I just, I got lost, and I just, like, ended up finding a trail that wasn't listed. So I listed it. Uh, so, yeah, I've never ridden that trail before. It's called Magic Touch. And... Other than those two things, then there is a conversation, of course, and that is about feeling addicted to safety, being addicted to feeling safe. So I had like a weird thought on the way to the studio one day and was like, oh, that's not good. And then I wrote about it a little bit and then I, I talked about it in that conversation. So uh, yeah, other than that, that was kind of it for this week. And uh, I'm actually all set up here to do a review. We'll give you a little bit of the uh, that. Um, to do a review on that album, which is Bad Actress by Dem Atlas. That's weird to say like that. Anyway, um, it's freaking good. And I, I pre-ordered it. Like, I got it when it came out years ago. Like, three? Three years ago? It's so good. And I just never, like, I wanted to do a review on it then, and I just never did. And I was listening to the album again, uh, the past couple days. And, oh, it's just so fantastic. Anyway, uh, with that, we'll see you on another time.